Hello, so we are on a long break and good for you, Oda, take your time off, but we're suffering. So I thought we could look at uh, what, how we think Egghead is going to end. I made a video at the beginning of the year or end of last year, I don't know, um, talking about some of the things that I could potentially see Egghead happening before the end of Egghead. I'm not much of a theorizer, so you know, probably not very good, but I did that and I figured it would be fun to talk to y'all about what you think, how you think the arc is going to end and then once it does end we could revisit. I'll make a graphic for each uh, of our predictions board. I'll make a predictions board, that's what I'll do, for, for y'all and for me and at the end of the arc we can revisit and see how many we got right. My original thought was to do a bingo board but there's this hack on this platform already that does a bingo board every year. So I decided to just make a graphic instead and we will pull the three, six, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> what an unsatisfying number. Why would I do that? Well, the eleven uh, best predictions in this community thread, community tab, and those will be the community predictions that we're going with. And if you happen to be one of the winners, one of the people that got something right, well, nothing. I'm not, I'm not going to send you something. You'll get bragging rights, which is the best currency online anyway. So you'll get bragging rights. And if I beat you, then you'll be humiliated because I'm not, I'm not good at theorizing. We'll also have a little interlude after we fill up half of this 11 piece board. Uh, we'll have a little interlude for some memes because I also told you, told y'all you could make some meme predictions as well. And who doesn't want a meme interlude? I actually can't tell if this first one by We Are Individuals is uh, meme uh, prediction or not, but I'm gonna put it on the official board because I like it and then we'll shift it over to the meme board if after the fact we need more space. Frankie presses the self-destruct button and destroys yet another Vegapunk lab. <laughs> I think this is a meme response, but I love it anyway, <laughs> especially because we are on this time crunch right now and the elders are trying to get there so that they can stop it. So what if Frankie, but why would he do that though? Why would Frankie, he, assuming the signal is coming from the lab, which I think we've all collectively decided it's not, assuming it is coming from the lab, why would he press the self-destruct button before the message <laughs> can end? Never mind, this is a meme. We're gonna put it on the meme board. Whoops, I started the video off with the meme by accident. Oh, okay, well, this is a good follow-up. The source of the Vegapunk broadcast is not from Egghead, but rather from the Ohara ruins. I'm gonna put this on the board because I think that this is very likely to happen. Now, is it absolutely from the Ohara ruins or is it potentially from um, Iva's kingdom? which I can't remember the name of for some reason, and Dragon is in on it. That's the other big theory that I've heard that I really like. You know, it could go either way, but definitely agreed it's not on Egghead. Okay, I finally got to another legitimate one. Y'all really leaned into the memes. I'm not mad about it. Kuma wakes up, Paw paws the giant ship with the straw hats to Elbaf and stays on Egghead to solo the Gorosei. So I think this is definitely possible. I feel like there's a reason Oda is keeping Kuma alive and he's killed Vegapunk instead of Kuma at this point. And it's gotta be because Kuma, it's gotta be because there's going to be another hitch in their plan. There's gonna be another problem. Like maybe the ship, uh, the, the giant ship is going to be, be, uh, why is injured the only word that I can think of? It's gonna be harmed and, uh, and it's not gonna be able to sail. And now we're going to be in peril again. We almost got it. We almost got to the end, but actually we can't set sail. We can't get out of here in time and the elders are descending upon us. So Kuma does his last act of heroism, of sacrifice for his daughter by pawpawing them all away and staying behind to be destroyed. I think it's very likely that this will happen. And I think that it's rude of you to remind us of that. Oh, another one. Kuma will pawpaw them all away, smiling at Bonnie as he thanks her for being born. He's already thanked her for being born, so it would be a little bit redundant to do that twice, I think. He's then killed by the five elders. So yes, this is this is one that a few of us are thinking is a very high possibility. Definitely going on the board. The message getting out to the world could be considered the egghead incident. Definitely a possibility, especially since the Gorosei are near immortal. So to kill them right after revealing them would make them feel not quite as powerful as I think the story 
wants them to feel. So letting that be the incident instead of one of the elders dying being the incident, I think is a good plan. I like that a lot. I think that the Vegapunk's broadcast re will reveal the world government is evil and the truth about Lulisha, but will be cut off before we get any major lore reveals. I also think that Luffy will defeat Saturn and he'll be the first Devil Fruit user to die by drowning. Oh, I'm sorry, do you think Luffy's gonna die by drowning or do you think Saturn is gonna die by drowning? Because I don't think Saturn has a Devil Fruit. I think they actually are yokai. I mean, they're legitimately demons. But, I mean, we don't know. I'm just saying. Do you think Luffy is drowning in this arc? Because <laughs> that would be really funny. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be. That'd be terrible, but it would be really funny. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to stick with the other one because we only have 11 spaces and we have a lot of comments. So I'm going to stick with the other one as far as Vegapunk's broadcast is going to reveal to the world, to reveal to the world. And we'll just let that be the one that we put on the board. The Sunny will eat Kuma's pawpaw fruit? I'm sure that's a gag. I'm sure that's a, I'm sure that's a meme theory, but it's also not unheard of. We did have a sword that ate a devil fruit. This is actually possible. That's the problem. I'm not gonna include it. It doesn't go on the board. I'm just saying. This might be it. Okay, this next one's super long, so I'm gonna screenshot it from the computer so I can let it be full screen, but I'm not gonna read the whole thing because that would take a long time. But I'm gonna put it on, on the screen so that you can pause and read the whole thing if you so desire. So I've been predicting that this arc will conclude with the Mother Flame being used on Egghead ever since chapter 1077, where Sentamaru mentioned Ohara being erased from the map before predicting that something worse than Ohara will happen to Egghead as Oda ominously panned to a wide shot of the island with the cloudy sky looming above. So to summarize, and rewind and pause that if you don't want it summarized, but to summarize, Egghead has been about slowly rising the strength and stakes of the antagonist. So having the Mother Flame be the final threat to the arc would match that trend. Also, it would give the opportunity to use the ticking clock until the island gets destroyed trope, which has been used many a time in the series and Oda quite likes, even though we kind of already have that trope happening right now, this would we could do it again, I guess. This would also have Kuma give his one last sacrifice that we've been talking about throughout this video already, pawpawing everyone away from the island to save them, mirroring God Valley and Sab Sab Sabadi, I can't say it. And then the Mother Flame could be the thing that ultimately kills Saturn, which would, this is a good counter to me saying that I don't love the idea of the elders, any of the elders dying now. I feel like they need to be a threat for a while longer for them to feel like an impactful threat on the level that they've been described to be, but only being able to be taken out by the Mother Flame or something of the like, and potentially the Mother Flame will cut off the broadcast before the huge, huge, huge reveal. And then two more small predictions. Lafitte arrived on island with Augur and Devon and is currently stealing Seraphim, and the man with the burn scar is, is gonna show up before the end of the arc. So we're gonna, we, we're gonna stick with the big theory and that's that the Mother Flame is going to be the finisher of this arc, which would be wild. This arc has already been so dynamic. This arc has already been very worldwide. Like we're going so wide and seeing so much of the world, but it's also been the Gorosei, the elders are, you know, these huge, imposing, impossible creatures and far bigger threat than we ever could have imagined. We have a death that may or may not stick. We have characters all coming together. We have an extraordinarily horrible backstory in Kuma. There's already so much happening in this arc that it honestly feels like it concluding with Mother Flame does sort of fit <laughs> tonally with how huge this arc has been having a huge finisher like that I don't hate it although it would be kind of funny just like just in general I think it would be funny if the current threat is there's a buster call about to happen and then it's like never mind that super doesn't matter mother flame is here <laughs> let me plug these into the, uh, the graphic so I can see how far along we are with our predictions. Okay, we have four out of 11. <laughs> Stupid. 
stupid. As much as I don't want this to happen, I feel like there's a chance that the Gorsei will shut down the broadcast and Oda will wait until later to reveal the world's secrets. Also, by the end of this arc, Sanji will make scrambled eggs. I was not expecting that ending to that prediction. Um, I'm gonna keep this because that is a distinct possibility that Oda is planning to infuriate us all by holding back information further. I don't think so, but that's probably me just being an idiot. Y'all have been doing this series a lot longer and you've turned jaded and honestly, you've earned that. Okay, that makes, that makes five. So, all right, it's time for our first interlude. Let's take a break for some memes. First and foremost, and most importantly, <clears throat> Caribou is stomped by the ancient robot before he can leave with the Blackbeard Pirates. Do you know how, ha as soon as I saw Caribou's name, I was like skipping that, it's not getting read, and then I read it. And this is perfect. Caribou offering to deliver this information, and he could even give it. Like he can even give Blackbeard the information, and then Blackbeard's like, wow, thank you, sir, for your service to our crew. Might you could join us? And then the Iron Giant's like, stop. <laughs> I know Blackbeard's not on the island, so that's not gonna happen. So we can just not give Blackbeard the information, even though I think he should have it for, you know, the purposes of the story. But I do really want to see Caribou get stomped by the Iron Giant. I want that so bad. The Iron Giant bonks the elders on the head! Oh no, the Iron Giant. There are no theories around this Iron Giant. That's not true. There are, but... We don't know. The Iron Giant is such a wild card right now. And I love that the theories that have popped up so far from y'all <laughs> are to stop Caribou and bonk the elders on the head. I'm sorry. <clears throat> the Iron Giant bonks the elders on their heads, giving them amnesia, and they forget why they were here in the first place. They are then baffled as to why the Void Century was erased in the first place, and hence, in honor of equal education, <laughs> Are the are the ones to, are the ones to reveal the void century? That is so stupid. It's my new favorite thing. I want this to be true so bad. Imagine if the Iron Giant just picks up Luffy's baseball bat and bugs them each, and then they're just like, "Why are we here? What's going on?" Why is the, vo the Void Century was covered up? Oh, no, no, we can't have that. That's essential information. Let's tell the world. Vegapunk, turn your broadcast on me. <laughs> Can someone write a fan fiction, please? Oh, okay. Now we're gonna do a little sprint uh, of who, we're gonna play a game. Who will arrive at the 11th hour to save the Straw Hats? They'll all be saved by the, at the last minute by Pell. The goat Wapool arrives and saves Luffy by eating one of the five elders. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is supposed to be a sprint, but I wasn't expecting. <laughs> I was, I was just, I was just saving ones that were talking about somebody arriving at the eleventh hour, and I didn't finish reading that one in advance. <laughs> they got me. Wa the goat Wapool arrives and saves Luffy by eating one of the five elders. Foxy appears at the climax to save everyone by literally slowing the five elders enough for everyone to escape. You know what? Foxy is underrated. His powers are cool. Buggy will come to the island and say, I've come to end this war. And then the cameras will turn to him and the broadcast will be his again because we know everyone just wants to see Buggy. And that ends the first interlude. Don't worry, there will be another at the end of the video, but boy, do we have some good meme theories. Whew. Back to what the fandom actually cares about, which is real theories. Oh no, the next one is a really good meme. I'll save it to the end of the video. I'll save it for the second interlude, but that one's really good. Okay, real theory. One, we find a way to actually damage the elders. Two, Straw Hats get split up. At least Robin, Luffy, and Usopp reach Elbaf though. Oh, you mean split up at the, you mean, well, yeah, we are talking about how the arc ends. You mean only a few of them will get to Elbath? Oh, no, I don't like that. But it does make sense for how 
Oda tends to tell the story. Three, elders fail to stop the broadcast. It wasn't getting broadcasted from Egghead to begin with. Killer. Okay, so the broadcast not being on Egghead has been covered. Um, we actually find a way to damage the elders. I'm, I'm going to keep those two. I'm going to, I'm going to attribute two theories to you. Um, we actually find a way to damage the elders and Straw Hats get split up. I never considered the Straw Hats getting split up, which is maybe foolish of me because Oda does that a lot. But I've just enjoyed having everyone together on Egghead, even though everyone's not getting enough page time for my liking. I like having them together, so I just didn't expect them to split up again. Ooh. Tinfoil hat time. Luffy doesn't make it out. In a parallel to Sabayodi, Luffy succeeds in protecting his crew. Bonnie and the remaining Vegapunks from the Gorosei, but he alone is captured, leading to an arc which mirrors Impel Down and Marine Ford, where the rest of the crew and their allies have to rescue him and thereby start the war to end all wars. Is your theory that we skip Elbas? In your theory, if Luffy is sent to Impel Down or or something of the like and our crew has to go in and rescue Luffy this time, which I'm down for, honestly. It's not the way I see the series going. This is not a theory that I back up, necessarily. I don't see this happening, but I'm down for it. And this time, like, put him in some sea stone cuffs, get him perfectly isolated so he can't just punch his way out of it, and the crew has to come and rescue him, thereby giving them that page time. I quite like that, but... If they start the war to end all wars, that means we're not doing Elbaf. Unless, I guess it could mean that we do the war to end all wars first, then Elbaf briefly, then one, then find the One Piece, then series ends. This is not the order that I have in my mind. I'm not mad about it. The impel down being kind of inserted in between everything. I don't think it'll happen. But I do like it. Kizaru will hear the message from Vegapunk and his anguish will turn him to be the sacrifice necessary to get the Straw Hats out of there. So we're basically theorizing it's either going to be Kuma or Vegapunk that's the sacrifice. I like, I mean, I think either one would work. I like Kuma being the sacrifice better because it just really fits up with all the themes that have built up around Kuma up to this point. And Kizaru, maybe it's just because I was so team Kizaru will switch and turn sides that now I'm like backing off of that a little bit because <laughs> it feels like it's not gonna happen so I don't I don't want to jump into this boat but it, I mean it could work. Oda will give us Vegapunk's flashback to make us cry at his death. Interesting. That would be a lot I think unless it's just gonna be like a Kaido kind of flashback where we're just gonna get a series of snapshots but I think that would be a lot to cram another flashback into this arc that already feels like it's coming to its end. I'm not saying no, I'm just saying, hmm. Bragi and Dory will use Hakoku's sovereignty to help the Thousand Sunny escape either through marine ships or Vegapunk's sea beast weapons that have been taken over by the Gorosei, calling back the giant goldfish at the end of Little Garden. Interesting. There's also the theory that the giants will stay behind. They'll put everybody off on the on the ship, send them off, but they'll stay behind and die fighting, die in glorious battle because they're modeled after Norse mythology, Norse lore. So it's their glory to die in an epic battle. So that's also something that's been discussed quite a bit. And so that's also an option for someone staying behind as a sacrifice if Oda is gonna go that route. Okay, I don't actually, I haven't been keeping track of how many theories we have anymore. So I'm just going to do a couple more and then we'll call it good. And here's hoping, I mean, it's whatever. I'll, I can remake the graphic if I need to. Emu face reveal. Dragon helping Luffy escape like in Logtown. Giant robot killing a Gorosei. And void century reveal. You get one, even though I've given other people more than one. You get one and I'm gonna give you emu face reveal. That's what you're going on the chart for. Bonnie dies. We realize that someone else will be the 10th member of the Straw Hats. So, that would be horrible, unless Kuma dies too. But can you imagine if Oda has been setting Kuma up all this time to be the sacrifice, to be the death, to be the one, like we all, we're all looking at Kuma wondering, are you gonna die at the end of this? And we're, when, while we're all looking at Kuma, Oda's like, just kidding, it's Bonnie. That would be, 
I don't want it. <laughs> no one would hurt too much, especially if Oda keeps Kuma alive to have to survive his w n wife, wife, and, I mean, she wasn't, but you know, and daughter. No, no. Okay, I'm sure that's enough. Let's end the video on another meme interlude. Dragon thinks about coming to Egghead, but then turns east and keeps looking that way. <laughs> I know Oda has plans for Dragon, but man, do I love the agenda. Ace is alive. That's the whole thing. <laughs> Egghead's gonna end on the reveal that Ace is alive. I love it. Shanks turns into his mythical rat rat fruit model snitch. <laughs> Just snitch on the Gorosei, but he realizes he can't anymore. <laughs> Stupid. And Ellen and his robot army come down and cause chaos. The source of the broadcast is the Apple antenna on Vegapunk's head. Sanji has to play a game of keep away with his body to keep the broadcast going. That's horrifying. Oda would never <laughs> have them toss around their friend's body in a game of keep away so that the broadcast can be seen through. That's horrifying. How would you even think of that? Luffy draws a tunnel and everyone goes through it. And when the government tries to pursue them, they crash. <laughs> Just like Wile E. Coyote. I think Elbaf is a red herring. Kaku for sure is gonna get his wish. We're going to space to set up a Fort Emperor Davy Back fight hosted by Enel. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Oprah voice. Everybody gets a Vegapunk. Dragon gets a Vegapunk. Gorosei get a Vegapunk. Blackbeard gets a Vegapunk. I actually, I mean, I don't want this, but what's funny is that that could happen. Each of the, of the satellites that are left could go live with, <laughs> with different people and then Vegapunks are all over the place. I hate it. <laughs> And finally, G5 Luffy will go inside the giant egg, shut it, and come out as a giant cartoon bird. But this actually might happen though. <laughs> okay, there were more theories that community posts, the comments on it just went on forever. I think it was an infinite scroll. I think new comments just kept getting generated. <laughs> it's just so much. But I think we got some good ones to fill up our board. So I'm pretty satisfied with this. Um, Y'all have your predictions board. I have my predictions board. And at the end of Elbaf, we'll come back together and see if any predictions were correct or if we're all idiots. Either way, I had fun. I hope you did too. I'll see you again soon. Bye.